Radical. Now there's a there's a female that he has a kid. Kid is seven years old. And she's an above average looking female. Like she's you know, she's got an okay body, like she's not ugly or nothing. She's above average looking. And she is probably not faithful to her husband. Definitely not faithful to her husband. You know? He's very flirtatious. It's either she is not faithful to her husband or she thinks about wanting to cheat or um, I don't know. Like same same guy, you know, Parasite I just talked about. He bragged, he went over to talk to her. What exactly did he say to her? Um, he said, she said she was married. He asked her out and he said, if you ever get a divorce, can we go out? Well, instead of shutting that, da- shutting that down and saying, I'm not getting a divorce. She said, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that shows you that that marriage might be on the rocks or something. If you get asked a question like, well, you got to love him. He's persistent at least. Most people would be like, oh, you're married and then move on. Um, but then he asked, I think it might have been another question on like, well, do you still date or something like that? But I don't know. I do know he did say he asked if we can go out if if you're ever divorced. So he's probably writing her name down in a book and just checking in on her whenever she gets divorced. Maybe that's his maybe that's his plan. Right. He's just taking account of all the women that are married. and He's eventually. The odds are one of them will get divorced. What is the divorce rate? Like 50%? Eventually, one will get divorced. Well, you know, I talked about Damien, how when he stopped by, he would basically shut operations down. He was annoying. He would ask me all kinds of questions about the game stuff. Well, I'm not saying this is a female version of him, but she came over and she's, she's seven. But she obviously doesn't, she doesn't seem like she plays a whole lot of video games. There were three Xbox 360s I had set up. I forget what she was playing. I don't think her mother was completely happy with her playing Grand Theft Auto. So I had an option. And I switched her over to uh, switched her over to another system. And I put Viva Pinata in there. Thinking, okay, how many different kids the games do I have for 360? I don't have a lot. But I figure she's seven. She would like Viva Pinata. It would entertain her. Then she said that's boring. Because, of course, you know, Viva Pinata probably going to be boring compared to, you know, running around carjacking people and pistol whipping them or whatever. Okay. So I think she eventually went back to the Grand Theft Auto because, or Saints Row, whatever, whatever it was. Because I didn't know what to do. I'm like, okay, you can go Saints Row. I didn't care. I figured if her mother wants to take her back, uh, you know, I might just say, well, that's what I'm playing right now. Your kid's not enough to play this. But even on a simpler game, there's all the, there's pop-ups on the Xbox. You know, start this, which hard drive, it wasn't busy, thankfully. This was towards the end of my, my shift there. And she kept asking questions. And she kept apologizing when she asked the questions. But it was simple things like, yeah, the start button. Hit the start button. <laughs> it said right there, start button. Uh, yeah, yeah, the green button. Hit the A button. Okay. And I was sitting down helping her with one of the things. And she looked at me. And it was kind of funny. She said, I'm sorry. I'm seven. <laughs> Never, never a more honest thing has been said to me before at the flea market. I'm sorry. I'm seven. What do you want from me? I'm seven. I just got a kick out of that. The way she delivered the line, you know, I'm sorry. I'm seven. You know, what's going on? I can't, I don't know this stuff. The bottle of water. Mm -mm. I'm still thinking about this. The bottle of damn water. Same person. The kid of, of course, the female that is above average uh, attraction. Now, I got a sale off this person. The kid bought a Funko Pop that I'd been given. This person gives me Funko Pops to sell for them, and then I keep some of the money. A Funko Pop, $5. It was like a little tiny one. TLC Chili from TLC, the R&B band from the you know, 90s. And uh, instantly... Very instantly after buying it, she opened the package, to which I yelled, No! You're lowering the value! I tried to stop. No, I didn't care. <laughs> and you know what? Guess what? Kids are probably going to open the Funko Pops. Does that trigger a lot of you when they open the Funko Pops? They're toys. <laughs> Some people are like, No, 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 no. It's so collectible. Oh, no. Guess what? If a kid buys something, they're probably going to open the damn box and play with the toy. 
This is what people used to do back before collectibles became really so big and everything. Uh, so yeah, there's really not a whole lot you can do with it. I mean, so she probably get bored with that. She had her eyes set on, it was like a Raja, Ravza, something, a Disney play set. Looks some, like some samurai stuff, or uh, there was a dragon. But it was like about like a 30, 40 piece play set. And I had 15 on it. Now, she said she couldn't afford it, but I could put it back for her. I said, okay, you can, since you bought that, you can have that one for 10. I was being very friendly to this person. Oh yeah, gotta talk about the bottle of water. I'll leave that to the very end. On the play set, she didn't have any money then, but I was packing up, they were packing up, and then she rolls down the window, and she tries to get my attention. Oh, she's persistent on that. She's, I said I put it up for her, but she says, I have seven. I have seven. So she is seven years old, and she said she has seven dollars. And I gave her a thumbs up, like, well, you have seven dollars. Then she thought the thumbs up meant, you know, I want, I have seven, I want that. I have seven. It, but no, no dice, no dice. I might even raise the price because she lowballed me. I might raise it up to a, one more dollar, 11. I might tell her it's 11, you know? And she's like, what? I was like, no, it's 11. We went by every week. It goes up $1. So it's 11 bucks. It was 10 bucks, but now it's 11 bucks. Yeah. She wants to play with me. You want to play rough? You want to play rough? I'm pretty sure I can outsmart a seven-year-old. Well, after I got outsmarted. Now, how did I get outsmarted by a seven-year-old? You know, it's possible. Anybody can get outsmarted by anybody at any given time if, you, if you're caught slipping, man. If you're caught slipping. It cost me one dollar being outsmarted by the seven-year-old. Now, I'm not saying she did it alone. Maybe the mother actually probably, I don't know, I might give her all the credit for the con in the world. Maybe the mother pulled her in on the con. But what's the con, right? Here's the con, right? So, if any of you get offered a water or a soda from a fellow vendor, that means, come over, you get your water, you get your soda, it's the end of the day, maybe they didn't sell them or whatnot. I know I've offered waters at the end of the day or beginning of the day that are ice cold to fellow vendors. Now, when it comes to something simple like that, between vendors, it's just it's just water, man. You know, you don't sell water to fellow vendors. It's just a, it's just an unwritten rule, man. Especially in warm weather, you don't sell water to fellow vendors, man. I don't think so. I I, I, just, I don't believe in it, man. Now you can sell video games and TVs and radios to fellow vendors, yes, but water. Water should not be something that's sold between vendors, unless it's like bulk orders or 24 packs or, you know, you got a business thing going, but one water should be free. That was my thinking. She called over after getting done playing the video games and going back there. She called over. Hey, mister, do you want a water? I was thinking, or want a drink? I was thinking, okay, they got drinks in there towards the end of the day. It's a water. Maybe they got some Coca-Cola. I don't know. It's a nice gesture, right? So I was thinking her mother had her, you know, I was going to come over there, get a, get a water, right? So I go over there, and then she's looking through, looking through, asking me what I want and everything, and she picks up a Deer Park water out of, not ice, because this was several hours after they got there. It was a water out of non-cold water. Nothing was cold about that water. The water wasn't cold. The water that the water was in was not cold. But she pulls it out. And then gives it to me as if it's given, right? I start walking off. I turn my back. At this point, I had not opened the cap on the top of the water. But before I could open the cap on the top of the water, she says, Hey, mister, you got to pay for that. Oh, oh, this little bitch. <laughs> This little, clever, conniving bitch. That's what I thought. But the other thought I had was, damn it, Rick, you got caught slipping, man. Mm. That's a con right there. That is a con right there. It was executed brilliantly, right? Brilliantly. She might be like a bank robber when she gets older. Or, you know, like a lawyer or something. Shit. 
she she's gonna be like she's gonna be trouble for a lot of fellas or a lot of women or any anybody I think in the future. But she might be on go on the right path. But right now, gosh. Now, I opened a bottle of water. As if to say, well played, you little bitch. Yeah, well played, right? It's not going to be the end of it, though. Not going to be the end of it, right? Because I might add that dollar back onto that little Disney play set. And I'll bring up the water. And I'll be like, you know, last week when you offered me a free water, but then you said I got to pay for it. Mmm, yeah. Now put that dollar back on here. She's going, you're going back on your promise of $10. I'm like, no, 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 no. You offered me a free water. And then she might be something like, well, I never said it was free. It was implied. It's implied when you ask somebody if they want a water. Otherwise, you would ask them, hey, would you like to buy water? Right? You Would you like to buy water? I just don't like this, man. You shouldn't have to, you, sh- you shouldn't do that to a fellow vendor, man. You shouldn't. Should not, especially a guy that lets you play his video games, you know, and his free arcade, you know, that'd be like me saying like, okay, give me 50 cents. What, 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 what? You've been here for an hour. Give me 50 cents. I didn't tell them that they needed to pay. It wasn't mentioned earlier. Worst part of that was I opened it. I started drinking it and I said, this water is not even as cold as the water I brought here today because I bring water there, right? Would you like a water, mister? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so that's the the bottle water con, right? Don't let anybody catch you in that. Before you accept the water, before you open the water, just make sure to verify. Just be like, okay. Or you can say something like, it's really nice of you offering me a free water. Because you stop them. I should have stopped it right there when I walked over and I said like, well, that's really nice of you offering me a free water. I'll have to offer you a free water in the future. And then they ha- they're on the spot. Before they even go in there and hand it to you, they have to, they have to uh, you know, respond to what you said. Because you've done told them that they're offering you a free water. It's just a, it's just a dollar. Like, what's a dollar to me, huh? Just a dollar. What's the principle of it? It's the fact that I was conned. By that little girl. So, yeah, a dollar is going back on that item. Mm-hmm. I even tried to sell it. I put fifteen back on it. I didn't sell it. I didn't sell it, but would serve her right if I actually sold that for fifteen. 